You might be asking yourself, how do I move, scale, and rotate things in ZBrush? Well, the answer is the Gizmo 3D. To enable the Gizmo 3D, simply select one of the three modes, move, scale, or rotate, or press W on your keyboard. You notice that as I moved through the modes, the gizmo did not change. That's because this gizmo works for all three modes at the same time. Let's explore. First, we can move things by using the arrows. By default, there are three arrows, blue, red, and green. Each one corresponds to a different axis. And you can see right here, if you want to move your model one axis at a time, you use these arrows. Do you see these white arrows right here? They will move the model based on your camera and it will be multiple axes at a time. Next, we can scale. These boxes right here scale. Just like with the move, we have directional scaling, which creates a non-uniform scaling in only one direction, like this. The center box, which is yellow, scales uniformly in all directions at once. Pulling out will make the model bigger pushing in, make it smaller. The handles for rotation are these wonderful little circles right here, also color-coded based on the axis. Just like with the outside white arrows of moving, this big handle, which is the circle, rotates it based on the camera view. To change the position of the gizmo, there are a few options. The first is to simply alt and click anywhere on your model and the gizmo will snap. It's that position. The direction of the gizmo, as you might see, will also change based on the normal of the mesh, basically perpendicular to the spots that you selected. Another option is to unlock your gizmo using this lock button and move it, rotate it as you wish. You notice that it's not affecting the mesh. While it's unlocked, only the gizmo moves. So if you ever want to have the handle grab somewhere specific, feel free to do it like this. When you're done editing where you want the gizmo to be, simply hit the lock button again. And now as you move it, the whole model will move. There are a few more options, as you can see up here on the gizmo. Let's go over the ones that actually change the gizmo's location. The first one is this pin looking icon. When you click it, the gizmo gets teleported to unmasked mesh center. If you click this little home button, it will move the gizmo and the entire mesh to the center of your project. If you want to move only your gizmo to the center of the project and not your model, simply alt click this button and look at that. The gizmo has snapped to the center of the project without your model ever moving. This round arrow resets the orientation of your mesh so that it's perfectly straight. If you click that, you'll notice that the entire mesh moves and becomes rotated. Let's undo that. If you alt click that, only the gizmo becomes straightened. Did you notice that? Let me do it again. I'm going to mess up the rotation of the gizmo for one second. Lock that again. Alt click the arrow and look at that perfectly straight with the world. As you move your mesh up and down, the gizmo will move along with it and naturally snaps to the mesh, not the world. If you'd like for your gizmo to snap to the world instead, select sticky mode, which is this pin. Now, as I move, once I let go of my gizmo, it will snap back to its original position. By default, when you use the gizmo, only the selected subtool gets moved. If you'd like to do all subtools at once, select this last button here, which is a little list, and now everything gets moved all at once. You can also press Control, Shift, and click to select exactly the meshes you want versus the ones you want to leave alone. The gizmo has a lot of hidden secrets and it does a lot of fancy functions. If you click on this customize button, you'll notice a lot of interesting things such as deformers and different kinds of functions that act like cages in any other 3D software you might use. Here's a little preview. I hope you have fun using the super intuitive tool.